Good morning. Today we'll be riding Japan's Shinkansen high-speed train from Tokyo to Kyoto. And I just arrived here at Tokyo Station from Shinjuku. So yeah, let's see where we go from here. Now, there are a couple things I need to do. Number one, I need to pick up my reserve ticket uh, from a ticket station. Number two, there are special bento boxes that are for sale somewhere here in uh, Tokyo Station. And I would like to pick up one of these special bento boxes for the train ride. This is something that has been done historically when riding the train in Japan. So we're gonna try to find one of those. They sell out quickly. But yeah, let me get myself oriented here. Tokyo Station is a very, very, very busy place. Now my train to Kyoto leaves at 11.03 a.m. and it is uh, 9.50, so I've given myself plenty of time because I was very overwhelmed here last time, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time. I actually missed a connecting train, so yes, that is why I've given myself extra time. Now I think we're on the right path here. We've got to go to the Shinkansen and uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I see reserved seats right here. I see reserved seats. So in theory, I should be able to pick up my ticket here. Okay, well this is the Ekibenya uh, bento boxes that uh, I talked about. Okay guys, hopefully this will help somebody. I made this way more complicated. So, if you reserved your ticket through the JR pa uh, reservation website, your JR pass comes with a QR code. I didn't see it. You just go to one of these machines, you scan the QR code, you pick up your ticket. So now I have my ticket and it's as easy, easy as that. So, okay. We're gonna get through here. Easy. Okay. Now we're in here. And now I have my ticket. Let me find a bento box and also let me see where I'm going first. I need to find where I'm going first. Priorities, priorities. Okay, so I am on uh, Hikari, Hikari 509, ah right there, Hikari 509, 11.03, so, okay, so that's uh, 15 I guess. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Uh, beef? Beef. 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 Okay. 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 And uh, water. Water. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Excuse me. Okay, guys, I have this bento box here, this beef bento box. I just asked them for beef. So we'll see what it's like on the train. I'm excited to get into this bento box, but I'm gonna wait till we get on the train because that's what you traditionally do. Now this is the uh, Nozomo, I believe is what it's called. I am on the uh, Hitari, Hikari. Yeah, Hikari, because that's what you can ride with a JR Pass. Okay, so this is indeed the train. Uh, the little uh, LED screen there changed to the Hikari 509, which is where I'm going. It's uh, leaving at 11.03 and we're at 10.50, 10.49 here. So we've got time. They're doing quick maintenance here on the train. And I've been sitting in this waiting room here. It's nice and air conditioned. By the way, this train goes 285 kilometers per hour 
which makes this a high speed train. This will truly be the fastest train I've ever been on in my life. I also wanted to show you that there's this uh, Delica station here. If you need a last minute bento box. Uh, car 13, seats 3A, so get on the train. 3E, okay. Or a good, uh, good ride here. Good leg room. Looks like you have like a uh, tray here as well. So. Good. Okay, so here's the bento box. It was 1600 yen with the water in the bento box, which was about $11. So, not bad. Okay, we are taking off. Experience. So let me get to my uh, hotel here in Kyoto and walk around Kyoto for a bit and go from there. Okay, wow, this is also a very nice train station. Okay, well, I believe I'm only about 300 meters from my hotel. So what I need to do now is I simply need to pick the right exit. So I'm gonna get that up on my app. So the JR Pass cost me like 220 US dollar and at first I was getting conflicting information from like blogs and vloggers and people online saying oh is it worth the price is it not I will tell you if you're going to take a train a bullet train a Shinkansen from 
Tokyo to Kyoto to Osaka, Hiroshima, all of these places, just buy the just buy the JR pass. And even in Tokyo, it was very useful uh, because yes, a train ticket might only cost you 150 yen to go from Shinjuku to Shibuya, but I don't have to go to the machine. I can just put my ticket in and I don't have to worry about it. It's extremely convenient. What I'm trying to say is JR Pass is convenient. So you might save some money. You might save a little bit of money, but you might as well save a little bit of money and also pay for convenience, right? So that's my recommendation. I'm a fan of the JR Pass. Now, if I wasn't doing Kyoto, if I wasn't doing Osaka, I wouldn't buy the JR Pass. I'd just get a Suica card and do it that way. Okay, well that's where I'm staying. Hotel Elysians? Elysians? Definitely not elaborate. But there's the train station. I'll be on that tomorrow. Again. So, it was convenient. But I'll show you what uh, $43 a night, I think it is, gets you here in Kyoto. Cheaper than uh, it's Tokyo. Okay guys, so here's the room. I'm paying like $43, $45 a night, something like that, for this room. Now, oh, smell is not great. <laughs> I, will say that, I will say that right away. And the room is, let me get this off. The room is very small. Gosh, what is power? Okay, that's power. Uh, it's in Japanese, so I can't read it. Okay, do we have a view? We do not have a view. That's where I just was. Okay, that's okay. Uh, take a look at this. So let's take a look at what is in here. Let's, we have, this is a good feature. Looks like we have a charger in here. I can't say that that has been provided to me at any hotel, really. Uh, and here we go. We have it at a very affordable hotel for Tokyo. Uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> for Japan. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I need to get some food. Uh, but yeah, Japan has typically very expensive uh, hotel accommodations, but this one, this one's quite cheap. Okay, and here, oh boy, this will be this will be a, a challenge. Here is the bathroom. So you got the fancy wall toilet here. Let's see how do we flush this. Okay, where's the flusher? Oh, the, oh, interesting. Okay, but there's how you flush, but there is the bidet. Okay, some of you I've, I've already lost. And this is the shower. So it's a split hose, I think, or it's a split water system here. So this controls the shower and also the sink water here, which is a very interesting thing. So yeah. That's what we have, folks, for, we'll call it $45 a night. Couldn't find really any cheaper ones that were acceptable. So, we're in Kyoto. Yes, now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some yakitori at 4 p.m., which is coming up soon, because it's a very highly rated spot, and I've been wanting to have good yakitori I've been eating like more fish than I usually do because we're in Tokyo, sushi, anagori, things like that. So I want some chicken. I want some chicken, yakitori, and we're gonna see where the day takes us. I don't know if this video blends into my Kyoto video or if this is my Kyoto video. I'll find out when I go to edit the footage and stuff. So yeah, cool. Look, you can get, this is either Korean rice wine or Japanese liquor. I'm assuming it's Japanese, right? But it looks like Korean wine as well. Oh no, that's gonna be, I don't know. I'm assuming it's Japanese. I see Japanese lettering. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 this is Japanese, but you can get it here from the vending machine. It's hilarious. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to this Yakitori Sujiri place. Should be right here, maybe. Okay, so I think this is it. It's supposed to be open. Uh, yes. Yes, uh, Yakitori. So, let's see here. Yeah, guys, look at the grill. Look at the grill. Oh, that was so cool. Hello. Hello. Uh, thank you. Okay, I 
think what I'll do is the Five Kinds recommendation and they have a draft beer. Suntory Molts, I've never heard of it. So maybe we'll give it a shot. Cheers. Okay guys, this is super cool. So, five recommendations here. I guess they come out one by one. This looks like an egg. Looks like a, uh, yeah, that's a raw egg. I don't know how that works. But this is the chicken meatball. See the chef here is grilling it up. It looks amazing. Oh, this is really good. Make sure my elbows aren't on the table. Disrespectful, but oh. Okay guys, so here's the uh, other four. This is the one I'm most excited for. Oh. So juicy. Incredible. Tell me what I'm supposed to do with this egg. I don't know. Alright, well my lens keeps fogging up because it's been crazy raining. So I ended up eating way too much yakitori, more than I planned. I had a few uh, rice wines, really good. Uh, fruit wines, fruit wines, really good. And I'm glad that I chose that place as my first yakitori because the owner really put a, lo a lot of love into each grill. Each stick he grilled, he like marinated it, spiced it really like delicately. And I've heard that in Japan, people really take food seriously. And they put a lot of love into their food and I could see that at that restaurant, so. Yeah, what an experience. That was really cool. Alright guys, I'm continuing this video after my stay in Kyoto. So I went to the machine again and I picked up this reserved ticket here at Kyoto Station. So I'll be taking the Shinkansen from Kyoto to Osaka. Uh, Shin Osaka actually, and I think it should only take about 15 minutes. Uh, it would be about an hour car ride, so you can think you know, you can really think about how high speed this train system is. So I am a uh, Hikari 645 right here and 413 to Shin Osaka. Looks like we're at uh, train 13. Okay, so. Looks like I am car 1230E. I scheduled this a while ago, so I don't remember which seat I pick but it's 3e so yes I want to do this kind of more extended Shinkansen, Shinkansen uh, video because I wanted to show you how I'm taking it from Tokyo to Kyoto Kyoto to Osaka and then Osaka to Ko Tokyo uh, so yeah hopefully that helps people who are interested in doing this and it looks like here is the waiting room I doubt that there's any room available Maybe there is, I don't know. Let's just walk around here for a sec. I do have quite a bit of time here. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Hikari 645, track 13. So, there's track 13. And this is a pretty big station. I'll tell you that much. There's a Starbucks over there. I have to get ourselves a coffee here so I can sit. Because I don't think the waiting room will have room for me. Let's just go check out the tracks. Maybe there's another waiting room up here. There was in Tokyo, so maybe there is here. Oh boy, it's hot. Just got done filming my Kyoto series. And a uh, video, it's not really a series. And uh, the real feel is like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so here's where we would go. Man, I'll tell you what, just look at how clean this train station is. Everything here in Tokyo is, or sorry, in Japan is so clean. I think there's going to be a waiting room up here.
you guys, but that was an extremely easy ride. I will see you when I take Shinosaka to Tokyo. Well folks, my time here in Kyoto and Osaka has sadly come to an end. And I just took one of the local metros here to Shin Osaka. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the Shinkansen uh, up there. So yeah, let's go through here. Now, I wanted to show you that my train is Hikari 506 at 11.48, which means I have roughly 90 minutes to kill, primarily because I had to get out of my Airbnb before 10 a.m., which kind of sucks. But yeah, I've got 90 minutes to kill here in the train station. I've not eaten today. Could probably use a second coffee. So yeah, we're gonna probably do that. Now, if you're like me and you're doing like Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, and then back to Tokyo, you can purchase a seven day rail pass, JR rail pass. So, so the way that I line this up, I'm not sure if I explained it yet, but basically the way that I line this up is I bought a seven day rail pass for $220 um, and that gets like unlimited usage entry through the Shinkansen of bullet trains and any other JR Metro. And basically, if you wanted to do 14 days, it's like $440 or $450. So I saved over $200 by just doing the seven day pass. Basically, I'm gonna be here for another week or more, uh, eight more nights here in Japan. So what I did in Kyoto and Osaka is I picked this up this IC card, this Ikoka card. You can also get a Suica card in Tokyo but I was informed that I can use this in Tokyo. So this is a local card here for Osaka and Kyoto, but you can use this in Tokyo. You can even reload it in Tokyo, and anywhere that uh, an IC card is taken, you can use this. So that's what I recommend. Long, long way of saying, what you can do is, if you're doing something similar to me, is use your JR pass as much as you can, but you're gonna have to get one of these IC cards because a JR Metro, does not take you everywhere you need to go. There are independent metros as well, and that's where this IC card go comes in. This is pretty affordable. You know, I think I've only spent $15 so far, and it's gotten me a number of metro rides. That includes the cost of the card. You can also get it on your Apple wallet. All right, guys, well, here we are at the Shinkansen tracks, and I see 506 in Tokyo at track 25. So. I have about, oh, let's see here, 40 minutes, 40 minutes to kill. So I think what I'm gonna do is just walk around here before I go in there. Look how fast that train goes, guys, it's incredible. Like when you're on the train, it's like, it feels so strange to be going 285 kilometers per hour. No, it's okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. speed bullet train when you're here in Tokyo. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.